I wanted to take a look at a couple of rainbow eucalyptus or bogross seedlings to give a quick update on where they're at. Uh, if you'd like to see the planting process and their early growth, we have a video clip up on that. But I wanted to look closely at these seedlings because there's a lot of seedlings and seeds being sold as rainbow eucalyptus, but they're actually different species and people often wonder if they actually have the correct species. So now that these seedlings are just about four months old and at a size when a lot of people would be purchasing them, I thought I'd show you some of their characteristics. So hopefully you'll be more likely to purchase genuine eucalyptus deglupta. So probably the most striking aspect of these is the new growth is a purple red color on the top and bottom of the leaves. This can vary, but it's a good indicator of the species. Uh, also, you can see the veins in the leaves and sometimes even the stems can have a purple color. As the leaves age, that purple disappears and the leaves are dark green. Also, if you look at the leaves, they're opposite each other. So one leaf is growing directly on the opposite side of the stem from another leaf. And as each new pair of leaves is put on, they grow at about a 90 degree angle from the set of leaves that they're above. Uh, and this seedling is interesting because if you look at the bottom of it, you can see the tiny first leaves there that uh, grew after the seed sprouted. And as you move up the seedling, you can see the leaves basically is what they look like when they formed. Uh, the first few pairs were slender, and as the seedling matured, it made more and more oval-shaped leaves. So the older the seedling gets, the more and more these leaves look like the mature leaves, although they still uh, look and feel much softer than the leaves from a uh, full-grown rainbow eucalyptus tree. And now I wanted to show you uh, some close-ups of the leaves so that you can see the patterns that the veins of the leaves make. So here's the underside of the leaf and here I uh, changed the color of it so that you can hopefully see those veins a little bit better. You can compare that to any leaves that you're looking at of the seedling. Here's the top part of a leaf. This is the color is not changed anymore on these. This is a leaf after it's had a little chance to mature a little bit. Something else that I noticed about these seedlings is how they grow new branches out of the main stem. And these tend to come out right above where a uh, pair of leaves are at. You can see those on the other seedling too starting to come out there. This one has some of the bigger branches though. Uh, this is a mature rainbow eucalyptus leaf so you can uh, see that. You can see it's a little more waxy, much more tough leaf. So this is one that had fallen down off of a local tree. You can see once this tree matures and gets older, those leaves are still pretty much opposite of each other. There's a little bit of variation there, but they're no longer growing at a 90 degree angle from the leaves that they're taking the place of. All right, and so here's some of the seedlings that I've been growing. Uh, they're four months old. Uh, the sooner I transplanted them, the bigger they grew. So that's a little tip I would like to pass along. Uh, I hope you got some good information out of this video and I hope you have a nice day.